we're given a vector with the magnitude and the direction. Now it's measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis, which is the way we measure all angles. So this is the standard 250 degrees. Let's go ahead and graph this really quick. 250 degrees counterclockwise. Well, we're in degrees, so this is 180, 270. So 250 is close to 270, maybe something like that right there. 250 degrees. Now, magnitude five. So if this is our, uh, was the vector not a point, so draw the arrowhead. So the length of this arrow will be five. Not according to the blocks on the that we see over here, because it looks like I went down maybe a little more than three and over a little more than one, but you probably need to make it a little bigger to actually make it five units according to the blocks, but I'm just labeling it with the five. So we have to write this in component form, so I need the x and the y component. So remember our cis notation. That's cos theta plus i sine theta, and you can distribute your r. Oops, I am thinking about complex numbers, which function almost identically. There we go. That is r times cos theta sine theta, which you can distribute your scalar r inside. Now we're just gonna plug in these different values. r is five, five cos 250, five sine 250. 250 is not a degree that we uh, know about. Two, 40 would be and 270, but we don't know cos and sine of 250. However, I've typed them into the calculator already. I'm going to put that on the screen. Make sure you're in degree mode, and this is a Desmos scientific calculator. So there's 5 sine 250 and 5 cos 250. And we're going to go ahead and uncover the answers back here. And we see the same numbers right there. Accurate to at least one decimal place. Okay, so that is all there is to convert from polar to rectangular.